we can observe evolution in action. Darwin's theory is quite evident in the AIDS epidemic. As millions of victims face death each year, we are brought face to face with evolution, visible in our own lifetime. The AIDS virus, identified in the early 1980s, has been changing itself at a horrifying and rapid rate. HIV evolves extraordinarily quickly, so it's on the far end of the spectrum of, of rapid evolution. And you can watch the virus evolving in the course of an infection with a single individual. The HIV virus is not very good at making copies of itself. Whether that is a flaw or a survival strategy, the result is deadly. The virus invades the human cell and in reverse of the cellular process creates two copies of its own viral genes called RNA. The result is a new double helix sequence often with mutations inserted into a section of the cell's DNA. The human immune system can't keep up with the rapid changes evolving in the machinery of its own cells. Mutation, natural selection, change. We are surrounded by it. We can witness quick time evolution, visible in the span of our lifetime, in progress right now out in the Midwest in places like Kansas. Farmers are fighting a war against pests that are ravaging their crops. Pests like wheat flower beetles. The battle weapons are pesticides used on a massive scale out in the fields and in the storage elevators. The beetles fight back with their most effective weapon, rapid evolution. Random mutations are occurring all the time and every once in a while one of those mutations will confer resistance. There is no argument. In the fields and grain elevators of Kansas, in just a few years, beetles have evolved that can survive deadly pesticides. There is no argument. In the medical clinics there, new variations of the HIV virus strains have evolved to survive the body's best defenses.